At one time, Jim Courier set the pace. But against Scott Draper, the one-time world's number one couldn't keep pace. Guys caught the line. Jim was struggling a little bit on, on serve um, early on, and then he got better towards the middle of the second set. And then it was a real fight for me to you know, get home in the third because he was starting to, I felt he was getting better all the time. And, and um, you know, I was just very, very pleased to, to pull out a win there. A win over one of the most highly regarded names in the game. One who six years ago was at the top of his game. But since that time, Jim Courier's career has been one of steady, at times accelerated decline. All the way from the lofty heights of world's number one to number 71. I think that Jim is, you know, far better than a guy ranked 72 or whatever he's in the world. Um, I think his experience, you know, uh, creates a very tough to play guy like that because, it, you know, he, in big points and big situations, he, um, he's, he's been there, done that, knows what to do. But as Draper discovered, can no longer seem to do. And considering Courier came in having won as many ATP titles as Draper had won matches, Match one would think he could. Over the last uh, couple of years, I guess he's just been struggling with unforced errors and, and probably doesn't feel as confident as he did when he was winning so many matches. But, um, you know, I definitely had a game plan out there today and, and um, I, st I stuck to it. And I think that he actually played, you know, I don't know, I don't know how he feels, but I felt like it was a very good match. I thought he played quite well. I played, you know, quite well. And, and uh, I think, I hope he gets some confidence from this week. Rob Sinclair for Sportsline. What a great win this afternoon.